All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, let me mute this audio capture so you're not listening to Call of Duty. But today, uh, I just wanted to show you quick settings um, for how to increase your like stream quality. And uh, to be blunt, you know, I've seen a lot of videos out there that say like, "Oh, your stream looks laggy, your bit rate's bad." Um, basically, if it's a fast-paced video game you're playing and you're trying to live stream it like i currently have Streamlabs obs so this i primarily use great great software uh, a lot of different customization options within this but you know you'll hear online that you know you can just mess around the settings a little bit and ultimately it's just going to fix how your stream looks i was having that same issue um i was trying to tweak some settings and ultimately my stream kind of looked like garbage even though on my screen and what you see in Streamlabs here the colors look good the sharpness look good looks good the frame rate looks good but when you actually view it on youtube the bit rate looks terrible and it's all grainy the colors are muted um and stuff like that so just two things just to be blunt uh why you're seeing this for the most part one your bit rate might not be high enough um you know to support the higher resolution the higher frame rate you're outputting the higher the bit rate you need to actually support that there's like an online chart you can view but as a rule of thumb if you're streaming like 720p, uh, 30 FPS or maybe 60 FPS, something in that range, um, your bit rate should should be around 6K, 6,000 uh, is a good rule of thumb. 5, 6K is fine um, because that's ultimately like how much data you're uploading um, to support that resolution. Um, for 1080p, 60 FPS, which is what I've been doing, uh, anything over 10K I think is good. I'm using 10,000 bit rate right here. I'll just show you. Um, if you go to stream or output, I'm using 10,000. 10 to 12K, I think, is perfectly fine. I'm, I'm happy with this uh, sort of bit rate. But just like just to, to, to be blunt, the reason why, outside of bit rate, because I was maxing mine out too, and I was having issues, honestly, the reason why your stream probably looks bad, it's probably a combination of things, but um, internet quality can can impact things, although YouTube will let you know if you're streaming on YouTube, uh, the quality that's going on, like the like, it's it tracks your quality over time, and if if the connection's bad, it's gonna let you know. But say say it's just saying good quality, and your stream looks like good uh, looks like garbage. Um, the main reason for that ultimately is your encoder. Um, it kind of always comes down to your encoder. Like people will say like, oh, like adjust your bit rate, keyframe interval, quality preset, profile set to high, max reframe set to zero. You can just copy these settings. This is like pretty generic, um, and, and this works for most people. Uh, constant bit rate's good as well, but ultimately it comes down to your encoder. Um, I upgraded my GPU, so I'm using an AMD uh, GPU encoder, H.64. Uh, the Software X264 one uses your CPU. Honestly, I've heard so many people talk about this. Use whatever is more powerful um, in your eye. Uh, if you have a really good CPU that can handle playing the game uh, and live streaming and you have a good internet connection, just use this. Although you might like take a hit on, on your uh, game, whatever you're playing. Um, if you don't want that, uh, use the hardware one. I'd say for the most part, just use the hardware one. If you have a good GPU is a really like is the thing I want to get across here. I was using a um, AMD RX 580 to live stream, um, and it's an old it's an old card, so the encoder's encoder's not going to be as good. So I went out and bought a 6700 XT, and now my quality looks a lot better, just because it's an updated GPU, it has better graphical performance, it can encode better. Um, so ultimately, at the end of the day, guys, if you're looking, and that's why you see all these streamers, their streams look so good, it's because their PC is extremely powerful. I always thought it just came down to internet connection, but I'm realizing that's not true. I'd say it's mostly your graphics capabilities on your computer. So I'm sorry to say if your stream looks garbage, you're maxing out your bit rate, you have a good internet connection, um, you're using constant bit rate, your preset's set to high quality, um, it still looks bad. It's ultimately coming down to your uh, you know, computer limitations and, and, the, and the hardware you're using. Um, so sadly, you might have to go out and invest in a in a stronger GPU if you want to support better encoding. Uh, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to be blunt and, and let you guys know how that works um, because I, I, I see a lot of videos on the internet that are just terrible at explaining these things. Um, and ultimately, 
don't really get at the the crux of the problem so if you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe whatever do whatever you gotta do um look forward to some black Ops six live streams coming soon on this channel so yeah see you guys in the next video peace out